Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, sometimes fight fans don't realize a fighter is great during his career, right? Um, you know, we look back on guys like Jack Johnson today and we realize that the stuff he was doing was simply remarkable. Right, some fighters over time um, start to look better than they looked when they fought. Right, Lennox Lewis, classic case study. During his career, there were many who wondered whether he could beat Riddick Bowe as a professional. I understand he did in the amateurs. We're talking about as a professional, right? Um, when he fought Lennox, excuse me, when he fought Evander Holyfield. You know, it was an open question on who would win that fight. Of course, along the way, Lewis had some hiccups that made it even more questionable, right? He got knocked out by Oliver McCall. He, um, you know, had a real tough fight with Ray Mercer. Um, now, when we look back, Lennox Lewis seems to have been the dominant heavyweight from the mid 1990s to um, the early 21st century, right? I believe right now there is no doubt on who the dominant heavyweight of the post Lennox Lewis era is. I believe he's the only heavyweight in the top pound for pound uh, top 10 list. At least he is in mine at DwyerTop10Boxing.blogspot.com. And, um, that's Vitaly Klitschko. I think in history, we're going to look back and we're going to view Vitaly Klitschko the way we view other guys who owned Eris, like Lennox Lewis, like George Foreman, like Jack Johnson, like Mike Tyson, you know, like Larry Holmes, right? Vitaly Klitschko, quite frankly, although he's older than his brother Vladimir, um, is much better than his brother. Uh, he's less rehearsed. He uh, doesn't have to hide behind a jab, right? He um, has a much better chin, hasn't been down in fights like his brother, right? The only fights Vitaly Klitschko has lost are fights where he was ahead at the time the fight was stopped, right? And of course, probably his most memorable fight, and it didn't seem memorable at the time because no one knew who he was, but probably his most memorable fight was when he fought Lennox Lewis. And of course, he was beating Lennox Lewis, but an eye injury caused the stoppage. Now, um, let's just talk about what he does well, because I believe that he's going to beat Derek Chisora, and I believe he's going to do it with style. Right now, what Billy Klitschko has, database has been updated. that no other heavyweight seems to have is a real singular defense where he's able to, quite frankly, get inside of looping punches, right? He's able to, you know, uh, defuse punchers who throw hooks and looping punches. And the way he does it is he sticks out his arms. And while many guys, you know, block punches on their bodies, like his brother does, right? Vitaly Klitschko doesn't allow the punch to even get to him, right? He'll literally block it when you start to throw it, right? He'll block it with a forearm. He'll hit you here on your bicep with his forearm and will throw you off. It's, it's a signature defense. I haven't seen anybody else in boxing do it like him, but he can literally stand away from a fighter and just stick his hands out like Lurch. And a fighter like Chris Ariola, who against most people is an offensive master, literally will find that his punches can't even get 
to Vitaly Klitschko. Take a look at Klitschko's face. It looks unmarked. I'm sure if you look closely, you'll see that it has some of the markings of a boxer, but he hardly ever gets hit. He hardly ever gets stunned in a fight, right? His defense is so good that when he decides to just stand there and defend himself, no punches get in. He's a master at using length in the ring, right? Fighters find that as they lunge in with hooks, he blocks the hooks. And then, of course, you have to deal with his greater than 80% knockout ratio because once he blocks your punch from the inside out, you're naked. I'll be surprised if Derek Chisora, who's only 6'1 and a half, and throws his best punches with a loop. I'll be surprised if Derek Chisora goes the distance against Vitaly Klitschko because he's made to order for Vitaly. He's going to be right in front of Vitaly. He's going to come. He's going to throw long punches. His best punch is when he's low down and he springs up and throws a hook to hit you in the jaw and to get inside. Those are the punches that he landed with regularity on Robert Hellenius. Here's the difference. Vitaly Klitschko, even though he's older than Hellenius, is a better athlete than Hellenius. Right? Just look at their bodies. Vitaly's always in shape. He doesn't look soft like Robert Hellenius. He has much higher volume than Hellenius. He has much better stamina than Robert Hellenius. Much better. Right? And what I believe is going to happen is I believe Derek Chisora is going to come in, put his head down, try to crowd Vitaly, and then find out that he can't get inside. Right? His punches are too long for him to get inside. The, the style that I believe that would give Vitaly Klitschko a hard time is a short puncher. A guy who could literally throw not long looping punches like Chisora, but very short punches from a defensive guard. A guy who doesn't get hit, who can literally then get inside, stay inside, and batter Vitaly with short punches. If you throw short punches, Vitaly won't be able to just get inside your loop and take the power out of your punch. Right? Adlinir Solis. And I understand I've taken heat for this online, and it's all good. But Adlinir Solis has a much more threatening style to Vitaly Klitschko than Derek Chisora. I think Chisora, who did weigh in the 260s against Tyson Fury, a weight that Vitaly normally doesn't weigh for his fights, I believe Chisora is going to look like the small man in the ring because Vitaly is going to fight tall, when Chisora tries to come in, right, Chisora doesn't bob and weave like, let's say, a Joe Fraser or a Jack Dempsey. He's not that hard to hit on the way in. And for him to be effective, he's going to have to loop his punches, and he'll be punching up because Vitaly Klitschko is tall. He's taller than his brother Vladimir, right? Uh, Chisora is going to have to punch up. His punches are going to have a loop. And all Klitschko is going to do is figure out the angles relatively early on and block Chisora's punches on Chisora's bicep. Literally just get inside of them, block them, and then batter Chisora with a pretty good jab. Take a look at Vitaly Klitschko's victory in his comeback fight over Sam Peter, right? And once Vitaly starts battering you with the jab, understand Vitaly throws straight punches. That's a big secret to his success. Once he starts batter, battering you with a jab and then coming over with a very sneaky straight right hand, right, on a fighter like Chisora who's trying to get leverage by throwing looping punches, right, who literally needs to lean into a looping punch to throw it, I think Chisora is going to find himself getting hit flush his timing thrown off, I'll be surprised if he makes it 12 rounds. And I'm talking about a fighter who has an excellent chin, 
who went 12 rounds in both of his losses, right? Tyson Fury and Robert Hellenius. Uh, I think Chisora might get stopped in this one. I like Vitaly Klitschko to win the fight. If I were betting the fight, I'd add in a kicker of Vitaly Klitschko by KO, right? So Vitaly to win with a kicker of Vitaly Klitschko by KO. I don't think Derek Chisora has the style to give Vitaly Klitschko too much of a problem. Let me add, and I challenge the Chisora nation to tell all of us, what does Chisora have that Chris Ariola didn't? Because aren't they in many ways the same fighter? Don't they both try to take you on head on? Aren't they both coming in with looping punches? Aren't they both guys who try to be active in the fight, right? You know, if you believe Chisora is going to win, then you're going to have to tell us what Chisora brings to the table. That guys who Vitaly Klitschko has recently vanquished have not brought, right? I think Chisora, unfortunately for him, is just going to be another victim. Don't be fooled by Vitaly Klitschko's age like Bernard Hopkins, like Antonio Tarver. This is a guy getting by more on skills than reflexes, right? He's not relying on his athleticism to overwhelm you. He's relying on, you know, timing, being able to defensively destabilize you, block punches, etc. And Chisora is just not, in my opinion, the kind of clever fighter who's going to faint and try to, you know, hesitate his punches to throw off Vitaly's defense. I think Chisora is just going to come in thinking he can throw a looping bomb and uh, take out um, Vitaly like he took out Carl Baker, Danny Williams, Sam Saxon. And I think he's going to find out that he's literally in with the best heavyweight of the post Lennox Lewis era. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for watching.